Here we have the Magician and the Lover's card, both upright. Everybody loves getting that Lover's card. Most of our readings have to do with relationships. And it's important to know this one specifically whenever it comes up because people will be eager to know why it's in their reading. The Magician, upright, is the embodiment of manifestation and resourcefulness, power, inspired action, there's self-assuredness, there's an ability to take all of the tools available to make something happen, the creation and the potential and the ability to manifest our desires, skills, you know, talents. And then we have the lovers in the upright position, which meant, which represents love and harmony and relationships and aligning values with somebody else, a partnership and choices that have shared goals in mind. So the combination of these two together suggests a powerful and our harmonious connection between our personal will, manifestation abilities, and the realm of our relationships. So with when they are combined, it would suggest that there's an ability to manifest that is intertwined with our relationships and our connections. And it would indicate that we have the potential to manifest love and create fulfilling partnerships based on our intentions and our actions this would encourage us to bring some conscious awareness to to our relationships in general and also encourage us to use our personal power and the skills that we have there to build our loving and harmonious connections so the two of these together would signify some sort of potent synergy between our personal power and the realm of our relationships. It encourages us to manifest our authentic connections and align our desires and our values with one with another person. And it tells us to embrace the magician's self-assuredness and the lover's emphasis on deep connections so that we can create a harmonious and a fulfilling relationship in our life. Now, what happens when the Magician is reversed and the Lover's card is upright? When the Magician card is reversed, the different keywords and characteristics of the individual card being reversed would be more of a manipulation or not tapping into the talents that you have or not feeling self-assured that you can do something. Maybe not planning very well, poor planning or poor resourcefulness. The lover's card still remains how it was in the last segment when it's upright, where it's based on love, harmony, relationships, um, alignments with some, something else, a partnership. And so when the magician card is reversed and the lover's card is upright, the meaning of the combination takes on a different tone. The reversed magician suggest, suggests uh, a potential misuse or imbalance of your personal power and skills. It, it could indicate like a lack of focus or a lack of direction or a tendency to manipulate situations or people for your own personal gain. So this imbalance can create some challenges in relationships. Trust and authenticity might be compromised. So however, with the lover's card remaining in the upright position, there's still a strong emphasis on deep connections and partnerships. And there's a, a potential for meaningful and authentic relationships. And those, those relationships can thrive despite the challenges that the magician reverse poses. But it does encourage um, the querent to focus on some open communications in the relationship. Uh, trust and genuine emotional bonds to overcome any imbalances or difficulties. It is still in a strong position with the lover's card upright. It just indicates that there's maybe a little bit too much emphasis on the self and not the partnership. That is one way of looking at this combination. 
And now, what would happen with the lovers reversed and the magician upright? When the lovers is reversed, we have to think in terms of more self, uh, self-love, disharmony, and an imbalance or misalignment of values with another person or not thinking in terms of a partnership in an agreeable way you know there's not the ba- an imbalance when it comes to a partnership so when the magician card is upright and the lover's card is reversed the combination would suggest a potential conflict between personal power and relationships the upright magician represents an ability to harness your skills and manifest your desires indicating a strong sense of self and personal agency. However, with the lover's card reversed, there may be challenges or conflicts in your relationship, indicating a potential lack or harmony or difficulty in finding that common ground. So that would advise us to try to find a balance between asserting our own individual power and manifesting a healthy relationship. It would make us consider how our actions and decisions impact our connections with others. It would encourage us to be mindful of the needs and desires of our loved ones while staying true to our own authentic self. So there's a little imbalance in either one of those scenarios, but a little different twist on the imbalance. And here is the combination of both the lovers and the magician card in a reverse position. Something that a new relationship, any relationship probably would not want to see in their reading because it, it does uh, suggest a significant challenge or, or extreme difficulty in both personal power and relationships. So the reverse magician indicates a lack of focus, a misuse of skills, feeling powerless. So it's essential to examine any self-doubt, self-sabotage, or manipulative tendencies that might be hindering that progress. The reversed lover's card is uh, signifying some disharmony and conflicts and disconnection in relationships. It suggests a lack of emotional fulfillment, unbalanced partnerships, or difficulties finding compatibility or shared values with others. It's a card you don't want to see in a relationship reading if you are somebody who is wanting the relationship to be hunky-dory. It certainly does indicate some complexities and and maybe a couple of, you know, hills that have to be climbed to get back on track as a couple. So, uh, you know, when they're both reversed, it's, it's highlighting a challenging period. And that's where personal power and relationships are in a state of imbalance or turmoil. It would suggest that it may be necessary to adjust or maybe address internal and external issues that are affecting our ability to manifest our desires and cultivate meaningful connections. So this combination advises introspection, self-reflection, and open communication. Identify stuff that's underlying our challenges that we're facing and hidden patterns that are contributing to the challenges that we're facing. And when we, when we do address and resolve those issues, we can we can restore a sense of personal power and create a healthier more fulfilling relationships but we have to always remember that with patience and self-awareness and effort we can overcome these obstacles and move forward towards something more harmonious you know and empowered at the same time